Hello everyone, welcome to all of you. How are you? I hope you all are doing very well. In this video, we will talk about how can we improve our vocabulary. Because you know, most of the time, while conversation we face this type of problem like uh, we want to say lots of things because we have lots of content in our mind, we have lots of thoughts and ideas in our mind, but uh, due to lack of knowledge or vocabulary, we are not able to express our thoughts and ideas in articulate manner. So that's why I'm making this video. If you are interested to learn vocab, but uh, you are confused, so don't worry about it. You are at the right place. In this video, we will talk about three important concepts. If you apply all the three concepts in your life, so you can learn vocab very easily. So first, so first of all, you have to use right method. And why I am saying so? Because you know, when I start my English speaking journey, so I applied wrong method. Now you are confused that which is right and which is wrong. So don't worry. When I started my English speaking journey, so I applied wrong, wrong method. And a wrong method means, uh, I have thought like, uh, if I note down 10 to 15 words daily, and then I will mug up. So after one month, I will learn 300 to 400 words. And after one year, I will learn thousands of words. So don't do this type of things because our mind can't remember so many things for the long time. So that's why I'm telling you, don't do this. If you are applying this type of method, so please don't do. This is not a good method. And now you have to do one thing like, uh, first one is, while conversation, while speaking, while listening, whenever you come across any new words, so please try to incorporate all those words into sentences and please try to imitate it again and again. And you have to use all the sentences in your daily conversation. Because if you use in your daily conversation, all the words, all the sentences deeply merged in your subconscious mind. So this is the best and easiest method. This is the very easy method. So please apply this method. And second thing is, you have to learn from observation method. Yes, observation method is very good method. Now you are confused, sir. What is the meaning of observation method? So observation method means, suppose you are going to anywhere, like suppose you go to your school, college, your office, in the market, bus stand, railway station, in the hospital, you are going anywhere. You can learn from where? You can learn from anywhere. Now, how can you learn? Suppose you are going to a hospital, so there are lots of statements written on the wall. Like this is parking area, this is non-parking area, this is the private area. So you can observe all these things and try to meet it again and again. So if you follow this process, so you can connect with English 24 hours. You can create some English speaking environment around you. Railway station. So you can learn from railway station like this is the arrival timing, this is the departure timing, this is the inquiry counter, this is the ticket window. So you can learn from anywhere. So please apply this observation method. This is very easy method. And if you apply this method, so you can create some English speaking environment on 24 hours. So that's what I'm telling you. You are going to market to purchase anything. So in the shop, there are so many statements are written like uh, all the credit cards are accepted here, phone page accepted here. So you can learn from anywhere. So please get this type of sentences. And third one is, uh, please try to learn some situational sentences. Don't learn any words. Please try to learn some situational sentences. This is very necessary because you know, when we talk in our mother tongue, so we feel very comfortable. Why? Because we have lots of content in our mind. Because we have been speaking our mother tongue since childhood. So that's why we have lots of content in our mind. So whenever we face any kind of situation, the sentences automatically come in our mind. Our mind responds spontaneously. So as simple as that, if you apply this method in English, 
so your mind responds very quick in particular situation so please create some content in your mind in english language please learn some situation sentences you know suppose uh, you have some content in your mind and if you are facing any situation so in the particular situation your mind will respond spontaneously and suppose today is my birthday and now you have to wish and if you have only 5 to 10 sentences i am not saying i am not telling you you have to learn 15 15 to 100 sentences in particular situation don't do this i am telling you only you have to learn 5 to 10 sentences in particular situation so you can talk very easily and in this process your confidence level will be boosted 